Hey TK, it's time for us to do some math. So today we're going to continue using our strategy of 10 frames. Remember, a strategy is a tool that we can use to help us learn. So let's go ahead and sing our strategy song to remind us about that. A strategy is a tool that I can use. I can use. I can use. A strategy is a tool that I can use to help me learn. So our 10 frames are helping us to find another way that we can add with just the plus to solve problems. So it's really helping us to think about adding to 10 because remember how many frames do we have in this? 10. That's why it's called a 10 frame. So let's go over our objective and dive right into what we're doing today. Objective is what? we are going to learn. I can solve addition problems using my 10 frames. So today you're going to be seeing problems just like this, where it's showing you the numbers that you're going to be adding. It's showing you that you need to add them up with Gus the plus, And it's asking you, what does it equal with the equal sign here? Now, this is not a story problem. It's just giving you the numbers to add and the equal sign to figure out how to solve it. And we're gonna be doing that using our 10 frames. So let's say you have this problem. It says five plus four equals. What's the first thing that I need to do? I need to start with my five here and I need to color in five frames. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna color in five frames and I'm gonna grab a green marker here. I'm going to start with my five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how many more do I need to color? Am I done with just five? No, I need to color more. What number more do I need to color? How many more? I need to color four more because that's the number that we're adding. So I'm gonna take my red here and I'm gonna color four more. One, and I went down to the bottom left. We always start on the left side. Two, three, four. Now, I didn't leave any spaces in between my green and my red frames. I made sure to go right back to the left side to color, so I know I did that correctly. Am I done now? No, I'm not done. What do I have to do? I have to count them all up to figure out how many I have all together. So I'm going to go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now there's another way I could have counted too. What I could have done is remember that this was five. I know that my green was five because I colored all the top row, which is five. So I could have started at five and then counted from here. Six, seven, eight, nine. I also could count in another tricky way. I could remember that this is a 10 frame. So there's gonna be 10 boxes and I have one box that's not colored. So that means that I have one less than 10. And what's the number that comes right before 10? Nine, nine comes right before 10. So those are some really cool ways that the 10 frames can help us to count in other ways, to think about different ways that we could be counting. Anyways, we know that nine is the answer and that's how we solved this problem. So let's say that you don't have different colored markers at home. How could we do our 10 frames? Let's talk about that. I'm gonna give you another problem and we'll see how we can do it that way. Okay, so here's our next problem. We'll put it as number two. Three 
plus 4 equals... So now I need to get started on solving this problem, but I only have one marker. So in order to fill in my 10 frame, I'm going to make some different designs to help me differentiate between the two numbers. So first I need to start with my 3. Now I'm going to draw a heart. 1, 2, 3. And then I need to do how many more? How many more 10 frames do I need to fill in? Or how many more frames? Four. I need to fill in four more. So for these, I'm going to do a star. One. Whoa, that is a very silly star. One, two, three, four. And now I can count how many I have all together. Let's try counting the way where I know I already have three, so I'm going to count on from three. I'm going to see how many more I had than three. So here's three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that three and four together is seven, and that three with four more is seven. So that's another way you could fill in your 10 frame to solve these problems if you only have one marker at home. And maybe today you could try counting in those other ways that I showed you. So at home today, you are going to solve three problems. I'm going to give you those problems next. All right, TK, here are your three problems to work on at home. So you're going to solve these three problems with your uh, 10 frames. You could either take pictures of the three of them, or you could take, um, you could do them on separate pieces of paper if you just draw some 10 frames for yourself, or you could take a little video solving them. For these, see if you can figure out a pattern of their answers. Last week, you guys did a great job figuring out the pattern. See if you can do it again this week, and I'm super excited to see your work. Great job, you guys.